Hello everybody, it's me, Rob. Rob Bidov. Here's a picture of me. Oh, my mum will like that one. I'm looking very smart. That was me at some book awards last year. But you might know me, because I have written books like this, which is called Blown Away. All about this chap called Penguin Blue, this kite here, and a very windy day. Or maybe you've seen this book here, which is called Kevin, which is all about this chap called Kevin, who's an imaginary friend. He is Sid's imaginary friend. But I am, as well as being an author, I am also an illustrator. And that is why we are here today, because we are going to do another drawing together. My paper in the middle. I say that every time, don't I? But yes, it is in the middle. Now then, sometimes I illustrate other people's stories. I don't just do my stories, I do other people's stories. And I am gonna do a drawing from a very brilliant book that was written by somebody called Jenny Pearson. And this book is called The Super Miraculous Journey of Freddie Yates. This is Freddie here. And it is a really, really, really good book. Trust me. When I read it, when, when they asked me to do the illustrations, I read it, I was crying with laughter and then actually properly crying at the end because it's really, really got a really emotional ending, but really, really fantastic book. I guarantee you will be laughing out loud at this book. So you should get a copy of this book. Right then. Now, there's one particular animal that features a lot in this book. And that animal is a sheep. So I thought I would show you how to do a very simple drawing of a sheep. Now this one, I'm going to say this one is probably the easiest one that we've done so far. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun because I'm going to get you to decorate your sheep, make your sheep's wool, all sorts of different colours and patterns, that kind of thing. So grab yourself a piece of paper, grab yourself a pencil or a pen, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we are going to start, I, I promise you this is really, really easy, this one. We are going to start with a very simple shape, and we're going to do that shape right in the middle of our piece of paper. We are going to draw an oval shape. An oval is just like a circle that's been sort of squashed a little bit. So a nice big oval shape like that. Okay. Then at this end of the oval shape, we are going to draw, I'll tell you what, we'll do it step by step. Let's just draw, coming out just below the middle, we're gonna draw a little line like that. Okay. At the end of that line, we're just gonna go up a little tiny bit like that. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to head back towards our oval, like that. Then, on top of this sort of, it's sort of like a rectangle, isn't it? It's a bit narrower at one end than the other. But on top of that, we are going to draw like a little loopy shape, like that. And then we're going to do another little loopy shape next to it. Okay. Then, in the middle of this shape here, we're going to do great big circle like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to just color in very simply around that circle like that in this little gap here like that and then we're going to color these two shapes in here and look you can start to see our sheep taking shape there we go that's our sheep's head should we give our sheep a little eye let's do a little dot and do you remember, I think I've told you this before, I, I never do the dots dead centre of these things. When the, when, the, when the faces are going, looking sideways, I always do the dots slightly the other side of the eye because it makes it, for some reason, that makes it look like the, whatever it is, is looking straight at you. I don't really know why that is, but it's just one of those things. Okay, I mean, our sheep is really close to, <laughs> to being finished now, believe it or not. What we need to do is we need to give our sheep four legs. So this is the way I've done it in that book that I showed you earlier. This is the way I've done it. First of all, we're just gonna do a ver simple vertical line coming down like that. Just slightly left of center of our sheep's body. Then I'm gonna do another one right next to it. That's probably slightly right of center of our sheep's body. And then do you know what? Either side of that, I'm gonna do another one. One there and one there. And look that's our sheep's legs. Easy, see? Then the last thing we need to do to our sheep is just give her a little tail, like that. And that really is the basic 
sheep shape. Now then, let's do a couple of other bits and pieces. I am going to grab my green colored pencil here. Here's my green colored pencil. It's a bit of a dark green colored pencil. And I am gonna add just some little lines around my sheep's feet, like that. And that's just gonna suggest grass, because sheep obviously like to live in fields, don't they? But when you're drawing grass, sometimes you can do it. You can just color in the whole area green, but actually if you just do a few of these little sort of tufts of grass just sort of dotted around, that's actually enough. You don't really need to do anything else at all. Now then, do you, know, do you remember what else I like to do? That's right, I like to add a bit of shadow. I'm gonna take my black pencil here and I'm just gonna lightly just add a little bit of sort of shading just around the feet of my sheep, like that. Just to make it look like the sheep is standing on the ground. Now then, this is the fun bit because you can do anything you want with your sheep. You can just leave it like that if you want because actually most sheep are white, aren't they? So you could just leave it like that if you want. You could add a rainbow color to your sheep. You could add lots of stars and moons and make it like a kind of a nighttime fall asleep sheep, something like that. You could, what else could you do? You could do anything you like. You could put a skull and crossbones on it and make it a pirate sheep. You can do anything you like. And do you know what? The more imaginative, the better. That's what I say. I'm gonna show you a very simple way of just making your sheep look like it's woolly. Now, this is how I did it in the book. What I did, I'm gonna take my light blue pencil here. And I'm just gonna add, you know I like to draw swirls. I'm just gonna add lots of little swirly shapes all over my, my sheep's body and I just think that makes it look a bit sort of woolly and a bit sort of cuddly. And can you see I'm just sort of going behind some of the swirl shapes like that. So you sort of get this build up of swirliness, just like that. And I just think that's quite an effective way of drawing a woolly sheep's body. So you can have a go doing this if you like. But do you know what? Because this is quite a quick drawing today, why don't you draw a few different sheep? You could, do a whole, you could draw a whole flock, couldn't you? In fact, you know what? I fancy drawing a few more sheep. Now, I think I've told you about my magic fingers before, haven't I? Because these fingers are pretty, pretty cool. Because I can sometimes, I can just say a little magic word, I can do this, and suddenly drawings appear before your very eyes. Would you like me to make a whole flock of sheep appear on this page? Let's see if we can do it, shall we? Now, what was the magic word? Oh yes, I remember. Here we go. Abracadabra. Whoa, look at that. An entire flock of sheep. What do you think? I did that pirate one that I was talking about earlier. I also did the rainbow one. Got some hearts here. We got some spotty dotty ness going on here. I like these two. We got a sheep that's trying to disguise itself as a bumblebee. That's pretty good, pretty cool, the bumble sheep. We got one that's trying to look like a football. And this one here looks a bit like David Bowie or somebody. You might have to ask your parents who David Bowie is. Sheepy Stardust, maybe. <laughs> sheep, Ziggy Bardust. <gasps> oh my gosh. There's a book there, there's a book there. You heard it here first, people. <laughs> right, okay, so here's our sheep. The last thing that we have to do is sign our lovely drawing, isn't it? So, do you know what? I can't wait to see what you guys can do. Hopefully there's some nice ideas here that will make you have some more brilliant ideas of your own. And then when you've drawn your pictures, you need to take a picture of your picture and share it with me using the hashtag draw with Rob because I'd love to see everything you do and don't forget to check this book out by Jenny Pearson it's published by Osborne it's a fantastic book Freddie Yates here look you can see the sheep can you see the sheep there that I've drawn on the back and here look Alex a Freddie super fan says oh look this book is hilarious it made me want to read and read and read and do you know what we all love reading reading is such a good thing isn't it so why don't you see if you can find that book in the meantime I wanna say thank you for watching me today. I hope you've had fun drawing all these lovely woolly sheep. And I am gonna see you again very soon for another Draw With Rob. Until then, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.